I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the Lenovo Idea Tab Lynx. This is another one of those laptop tablet hybrids. Uh, this is a tablet screen that connects to this keyboard dock right here, and it's from the family of hybrid devices that we've seen several examples of that use Intel's Atom processor, which is a low power but very efficient processor, which means the computer is not as powerful as, let's say, a Core i series one is, but the battery life is generally very good. Now you see this forms a very clamshell-like design when you plug the screen, uh, which is about $650, into the keyboard base, which is about another $130. The keyboard base also includes an extra battery, so if you put the two parts together, you should get very long battery life. Uh, the hinge on these is always sort of complex. I'm not a huge fan of this one. It's got this big central button here, and it stays in very securely, but when you try to take it apart, it's a little sticky. You really got to kind of work it out like that. And then you're left with this 11 inch uh, tablet, which is very light. It's kind of got a plastic back, uh, not the most uh, uh, um, high end feeling tablet that we've looked at, but for an Atom tablet, it's perfectly fine. And you can use it like this. Uh, this is where the CPU and the battery and the memory is. And then when you're ready, you can just plug it into the keyboard base. And then you've got something that looks a lot more like a laptop. The big advantage of plugging it in besides the extra battery life and the keyboard is the fact that the base has a full-size USB port in it, whereas the tablet itself only has a micro USB port and a micro SD card. Uh, that's not super useful unless you're going to be walking around with a uh, pocket full of adapters and cables, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a very portable tablet in the first place. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Lenovo IdeaTab Lynx.